This is your CBS 46 News Flash Briefing, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good Friday morning. I'm Karen Greer. The number of coronavirus cases and deaths are increasing right here in Georgia. There are more than 16,000 confirmed coronavirus cases statewide. That's up nearly 1,000 cases since this time yesterday. More than 3,000 people are in the hospital and 617 people have died. We're learning more after a labor union spokesperson confirms three Tyson Foods employees working at the Camilla Georgia plant have died from COVID-19 and that brings the total dead at that facility to three. Several others are sick and in quarantine. Camilla is about 30 miles south of Albany and we've reached out to the union for what the plant is doing to contain the outbreak. Southwest Georgia actually leading the state in coronavirus cases and deaths. New guidelines for how and when governors can reopen their states. The White House says it won't happen all at once. It expects the openings to happen in phases. Governors will be empowered to tailor an approach that meets the diverse circumstances of their own states. If they need to remain closed, we will allow them to do that. And if they believe it is time to reopen, we will provide them the freedom and guidance to accomplish that task and very, very quickly. Much. States saying a decrease in coronavirus cases would be allowed to reopen in three phases, each lasting about 14 days. The first keeps a shelter in place for the vulnerable, but allows some to go back to work. In phase two, Schools can reopen as well as gyms, bars, non-essential travel and elective surgeries will resume. And in phase three, things finally return to normal. Visits at senior care facilities and hospitals resume and there are no work restrictions. Right now, a crime alert out of DeKalb County. Police on the search for an active shooter who opened fire on some police officers. The incident happened overnight on Phillips Road near Lithonia High School. Officers believe someone fired at them from inside a home there. Investigators have launched a massive search on ground in the air. No officers were injured in the shooting and the suspect remains at large. Nice cold start, but some big changes coming for the weekend. Let's get the latest on today's weather with meteorologist Fred Campagna. Hi, Karen. Change, one of the buzzwords that we're talking about here, and severe storms are possible. Again, we're in storm mode for Sunday. Take a look at the severe weather outlook. This is from 8 in the morning on Sunday until 8 in the morning on Monday. Now, we're talking about these storms coming through late Sunday, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, into very early Monday, and anywhere from a 5% risk of severe weather in far north Georgia to a 30% risk in the southern part of our viewing area, including Troop, Merriweather, Pike, Lamar, Upson counties. And that is, again, primarily Sunday afternoon and night. Uh, this afternoon looks quiet. Temperatures in the low to mid 70s with some sunshine filtered by uh, some clouds drifting in. Clouds overnight, a passing shower possible on Saturday morning, then dry skies in the afternoon. Nothing strong or severe coming our way on Saturday morning. However, by midday Sunday, rain returns along with the threat of those strong to severe storms coming through. We're looking at the potential for some strong damaging winds, maybe a couple of brief tornadoes, as well as some very heavy rain that could lead to flash flooding. It all moves out by very early Monday morning, but storm mode for us on Sunday as we watch that severe weather threat. Monday afternoon looks quiet, quiet for a couple of days in the middle of next week before a storm threat returns for us on Thursday. This has been your personal flash briefing from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.